let me win. But if I cannot win, let me be brave in the attempt. On September 25th, people around the world will carry on Eunice Kennedy Shriver's campaign for inclusion, acceptance, and unity during the annual Eunice Kennedy Shriver Day. The days of separation and segregation are over. The torch has been passed. Where will you take it? Saints owner and executive vice president Rita Benson LeBlanc recently showcased her own athletic skills, rappelling down the 26-story New Benson Tower in New Orleans for a special Olympics charity event. But she's not the only member of the Saints family who appreciates and understands the importance of the Special Olympics. Plenty of people that are going through certain challenges, and so the opportunity to, um, you know, compete and, and, and feel that uh, feeling, I think, is, is tremendous to give them confidence, self-esteem, and that sort of thing. While both teams tonight support many charities in their communities, the Special Olympics has become especially important for everyone. Here's Chris Connolly now with California's First Lady. Thanks a lot, Stu. I am here with Maria Shriver. As founder of the Special Olympics, your late mother, Eunice Kennedy Shriver, was a tireless advocate for people with intellectual disability. Given that, what's the significance of this Saturday, September 25th? Well, it's the first Eunice Kennedy Shriver Day. It's going to be celebrated all over the world. It's been uh, passed into law here in California, but really all throughout the nation. And we're trying to encourage people to reach out to people with intellectual disabilities, play a game of football with them, invite them out to dinner, become a coach, become a volunteer in Special Olympics, join Best Buddies. The goal is to try to have a day of acceptance, unity, and tolerance. And acceptance and unity was always something very important to your mother. What would you suggest people in their hometowns do to commemorate this day? Well, I think get involved in Special Olympics or Best Buddies. Uh, go down to a place that employs people with intellectual disabilities. Or if you have a business, employ a person with intellectual disabilities enough job offers, they don't get enough invitations. Uh, go out and make your community a real community by reaching across the divide to people who don't get invited. Special Olympics and Best Buddies can direct you to all kinds of opportunities to include people with intellectual disabilities in your life. And it's really great to get your kids involved in that at a young age because then they grow up and they don't see the differences that perhaps people of older generations saw. And why is sports such a huge part of this effort? Well, Mummy believed that sports was the ultimate playing field. And she she really wanted to show the world that people with intellectual disabilities could compete on the playing field. And many organizations like the NFL joined her in that pursuit in, in actually watching people with intellectual disabilities become extraordinary athletes and you see them all over the world running, competing, playing in every sport, usually better than probably a lot of the people watching. Thanks for talking to us, Maria. Thank you, Chris.